Hi, I'm Paul Karazuba from QuickLogic, back with another video blog. Today's subject is sideloading. Now, QuickLogic talks a lot about sideloading when we refer to our Arctic Link 2 CX products, but what exactly is sideloading? In a sentence, sideloading is essentially moving data from one mobile device to another mobile device, bypassing the CPU of the devices. Now, this is important, so let's explain why. First, a user case without sideloading. So as an example, let's just say you purchased the entire Beatles music catalog from a popular music site through your desktop PC. Now at this point, most people will immediately want to transfer that new purchase to their portable device, whether it be a portable music player, a smartphone, or a tablet. Let's just say smartphone for argument's sake. So at this point, you normally connect your smartphone to the PC and the sync would take over. And by take over, I mean take over. Have you ever noticed when you're transferring large files from your computer to your portable device that your computer completely slows down to a point where it becomes unusable and time is better spent getting a cup of coffee or playing fetch with the dog? This is because the host device's CPU becomes involved with the transfer. It controls the data as it moves from one device to the other, but at the same time, it's still responsible for running everything it was already before the transfer. Email, internet browsing, virus scanning, the operating system, all the things that are required for your device to operate. By adding the transfer of sometimes gigabytes worth of data, you're overloading the CPU to the point that the device noticeably slows down. We've likely all seen this, and most of us have experienced the frustration of having to wait for data to transfer from one device to the other, but being in a hurry. This is where sideloading becomes very important, and here's why. When a QuickLogic Arctic Link 2 CX chip is built into a smartphone or a tablet, the host CPU is bypassed during data transfer, which we call sideloading. How? Well, the onboard CPU of the CX chip handles all the tasks associated with transferring the data, including DRM, the security layer employed on most popular multimedia files. The host device sees no lag in performance. You can continue to work on it without interruption or delays. And even better, the content is transferred quicker than without sideloading. But how much quicker? To demonstrate the effectiveness of sideloading, QuickLogic tested our Arctic Link 2 CX chip on a number of popular mobile platforms. In this test, we used the example of a two-hour-long HD movie that is DRM protected, and the results were very impressive. Without sideloading, transferring the movie from a mobile device to a laptop takes about five minutes. Contrast that with three minutes with sideloading. And when you transfer the movie from a laptop to a mobile device, more than eight minutes without sideloading, and a little over four with sideloading. In summary, sideloading bypasses the host system CPU allowing for much more efficient data transfer between devices. The host system CPU can concentrate on more processor-intensive tasks, while QuickLogic's Arctic Link 2 CX chip can concentrate on the data transfer. It works on both DRM and non-DRM protected content. As we said, sideloading is available as a standard of the Arctic Link 2 CX chip. For more information on sideloading or the CX chip, visit us at www.quicklogic.com slash cx.